Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. I hope you're all doing very, very well and enjoying the online Warhammer Fest uh, that has been going throughout uh, this uh, past few days. It's a shame that it's not a physical event. I really did uh, hope that it would be this year, but alas, uh, I guess we'll have a physical event uh, next year. Even though it was nice to go to an open day at Forge World a couple of months ago now, and it was nice to see how they've uh, changed the, uh, the layout of the stores and the displays. As always, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you new uh, subscribers and members and everybody that uses the Element Games uh, affiliate link uh, in the description below. It really does help the channel out. And if you use the Element Games uh, crystal code, you'll also be earning double the number of crystals on your purchases and it helps this channel out too and you get your discount. So uh, without further ado then, let's jump on over to uh, the community website where we will go through the um, Warhammer Fest, uh, some of the models and articles uh, so far. Obviously it's a big one uh, and it starts in 38 minutes apparently, this is when I'm uh, recording this video uh, on the Saturday morning. So if we uh, move down to about a week ago, uh, so we're looking at um, I'd say sort of the 30th of April. Um, yeah, 30th of April, you had a couple of uh, things here. Um, we had a look at the uh, Slaves to Darkness model, uh, I believe, uh, the, the day before. But um, for pre-orders for Black Library, there was Huron uh, Blackheart, uh, Master of the Maelstrom by Mike Brooks. Um, he's the guy that wrote the um, Brutal Conan novel uh, that came out uh, a little while ago. It was available in hardback and also this very fancy um, uh, edition not many pages i think it's just below 200 but i really like this uh this layout and i hope they do more of these and um, because it looks just like the gasgall thracker book by nate uh, crowley uh, so there is that there's the infantryman's handbook and then penitent available in softback uh, and then the other pre-order of course the big big pre-order which i covered um was the necromunda ash wastes um very pricey uh, especially when you consider Horus Heresy, Plastic Horus Heresy, uh, which we're all going to go absolutely nuts for, is coming out very soon as well. Um, and also there's Chaos Knights and um, Chaos Space Marines for that matter. Uh, and squats if, you, if you're into squats. It's a difficult time to, to be buying a set that's almost you know, £200. Um, coupled with the fact that the Orlock Gang are the same as the sort of individual release um, but the new models are pretty cool and the scenery is fantastic um, there's the nomads war party and the dustback helamites and the orlock outrider quads and um, remember there's going to be that big uh, sort of cargo hauler um mad max type vehicle coming out too which i'm really looking forward to uh, i'm going to try and pick that one up at least there was some Forge World uh, upgrade uh, pieces as well. Then the next day on May the 1st, uh, there was a Sunday preview, which is this Chaos Knights army set again, um, with the Horus Heresy uh, box set and things about to be announced uh, very soon. Um, you know, I, I wonder if that will put a few people off this set uh, and save the money just for Plastic Horus Heresy. Um, I will be picking up this set because I think it's fantastic. It saves you a little bit of money uh, as well. Um, and I only have one Chaos uh, Knight. I was going to keep it at one Chaos Knight. But um, yeah, I've decided to just increase their ranks a little bit. I'm going to be very, very limited with, uh, uh, with the amount of extras I get for, for Chaos stuff. Um, considering there is the Horus Heresy coming out. Then you've got the Codex Imperial Knights. Uh, really like that cover art. It's got a Warlord Titan on the... Uh, you know, on the left of it, um, I think it looks fantastic. You've got the data cards, um, a reboxing of the Knights Dominus. You've got the um, Castellan and the Valiant in one set, uh, and also um, that is the box for Chaos players as well. Uh, I don't think there's been that much of a price increase as well, considering you get two of those in there. Uh, Knight Armagers, again, you can build the Warglaves or the 
armages um, in there and also uh, the war dog huntsmen or dog executioners so um, they've really really like they've they've squished you know two box sets into into one with these so now there's no excuse for getting one of these uh, night castellans and they're absolutely fantastic models as well you've got rift war in the war zone uh, nakmund and then black library you're going to have this Khan eater of worlds um special edition it looks absolutely beautiful but this book has been out for a while already um thank you maxim for uh telling me about that so you may already have this especially if you've got the warhammer legends collection it was included in that another new release book is the triumph of saint catherine now this has been released before but in a special edition so this is the first time we're getting it in hardback hoping it'll come to paperback at some point then you've got hellwinter gate in paperback for the first time by chris rate uh, you've got malice dark blade volume two and then you've got a couple of books available in different languages as well warhammer uh, plus um Warhammer uh, Plus, um, we had Interrogator Episode 2. Um, I'm enjoying that. I really like the voice acting in it. It's fantastic. And you had a battle report with some uh, Orc Commandos. You had a Spanners uh, article. You had a Warhammer Fest online is this week. How to win everything that's announced. Uh, there you go. Look, 10 a.m. Saturday um, for the Horus Heresy. Um, you just need to sign up for the newsletter that's all you need to do and um, basically you can win every single thing that's announced um, you've got Middle Earth wield the weapon that wounded Smaug first look at the male first look at the malevolent magnificence of Codex Chaos Space Marines really like the cover of that one this big red explosion behind him or whatever it is um, you've got all kinds of cultists and things yeah that's going to be a big thick codex too. Um, you got the Dark Gods of Chaos Bless, Min Bless Maze miniature of the month with the coin. You got an article about Imperial and Chaos Knights, about quests and crusades. Um, interesting article about Horus Heresy, um, what makes it so interesting. Um, you got the Ethereal Night Haunt are back. Warhammer Fest Online, all the massive reveals right here. Um, so I'm going to click this and we're going to look at all of the reveals so far because there's been no other sort of articles other than these um, over the past few days. So if we just click on here, uh, I'll just go through this. So the first day, um, I think it was Wednesday, um, it was all about Warhammer 40,000. Um, so they went through uh, the Chaos Space Marines and very, very happy uh, with these models with these possessed they look bigger than the greater possessed that came out uh, you know three years ago now um, but they look fantastic big big fan of all these um, then you've got these cultists which I'm very happy for as well they look great loving them and then you've got some mutants as well so they've really gone gone for it this one looks brilliant I like that one um, yeah so they've really gone for it with the half demons the mutant with the half demons the cultists and now these mutants as well um, and then on top of that you've got the torments which are sort of like demons that are half appeared in a way or mid transformation i mean or maybe this is their final form but yeah uh wow so they've really gone above and beyond and then on top of all this you've got more cultists and hq unit for them dark commune again uh <laughs> Lord of the Rings anyone um yeah I really like this that, that banner is just fantastic I'm not sure about the tentacle you know but yeah uh and then this psyche with his head that's just it's holding the head up I guess it's just yeah it's just fantastic isn't it so really really happy with all the chaos um stuff that they've uh, announced you've got the leagues of Votan um <laughs> a little look at the trike i mean yeah why couldn't they have kept the wheels <laughs> i mean it sort of reminds me of uh you know those uh electric razors <laughs> that have the three spinning blades that's that's what this kind of reminds me of um but yeah hmm. and uh female as well but yeah so that's that's uh, a look at their these are votan just one model got chapter approved and then worldy is you don't get any look at any new models just some some cad 
uh, axes, chain axes. Um, they're getting their own codex. Uh, they've said that there's going to be more new units other than just the Corn Berserkers. I'm hoping they, they do a big uh, plastic Angron. Um, but who knows what else they're going to have. Um, Space Marines on Blood Crushers. I don't know. You know, Angels of Death are Origins. So you, you're getting like a prequel now to Angels of Death series that was on um, Warhammer uh, TV. And then a look at this awesome looking Demon Prince. Absolutely fantastic. Loads of options for weapons, arms, heads, uh, feet even, tails. Um, yeah, it looks great. I mean, look at these. So you can pick your, your different... Uh, Chaos God, I guess. Um, and that, that's going to be the same kit as the Age of Sigmar one. Um, price, I wouldn't like to say, I hope 70, but it might be 80 or more. Um, we'll see, but I'm definitely going to add one of those to the force. Um, that's fantastic. So that was Warhammer 40,000. That was um, pretty pretty nice what they revealed. Uh, Age of Sigmar, um, I'm just going to skirt over this because I, I want to cover um, the Chaos Knight set and things. Uh, but you've got Skaven. Um, they had this and then uh, the Codex and that's it, which is a bit of a disappointment. Sylvaneth, um, again, you had uh, this Lady of Vines. Um, kind of reminds me of The Witcher, if you've seen that. But uh, yeah, so uh, that one. And then uh, Gossamid Archers. Uh, I like the Fairy Wings, they're pretty cool. And then you've got some Spite Rider Lancers on these bug type things what are they I guess they're I guess they're dragon sprites but they look good and then you got these revenant seekers as well and then the uh, battle tome and that's it for Sylvaneth your article about you got new handbook, Cities of Sigmar, got General's Handbook, and then Black Library, um, two new models, two new uh, novels. I definitely want to pick up this model. It looks so cool. Kado or Kado as a chair, as a, has a chair? <laughs> Had a chair? Uh, the Hollow King uh, by John French. Um, and yeah, that book looks looks fantastic, and I do like John French. Um, Drekki Flint, Drekai Flint. One of these are uh, new Arconauts, and it's a uh, book by Guy Haley, The Arconauts Oath. So that's nice. And then Ogroid uh, Theridons. I like the single Ogroid, but now they're putting them in packs, and I guess it's watering that single model down a little bit. But yeah, they're own, they're their own faction, so we're going to get more of these. Um, I'm really actually quite tempted to get these, though. Um, they do look good. Even if they just had them last, like extras to the Slaves of Darkness uh, army. So that was Age of Sigma, and that was uh, day two, and then day three, so Friday yesterday, was all about box games. Nothing to do with Adeptus Titanicus, which is a bit odd. Um, you know, would have liked to have seen uh, maybe a couple of new things announced for Adeptus Titanicus, or even Blood Bowl, actually. But what they did reveal is two new kill teams break concealment at Warhammer Fest. So um, this is a new set that will come out. Morok, uh, you've got... Militarum Traitoris, or Traitor Guard, uh, full multi-part, multi-pose kit, um, much like you're used to with the um, Sisters of Battle set uh, and the Eldar Corsairs as well. These two miniatures we've seen before in the Black um, Fortress, I guess they didn't sell that well because they're bundling them in this kit. Um, they were expensive though uh, for the pair with the rules, and I know you've got cards and things and extras, but it's nice to see them in here, and for me, this set with that scenery as well pretty much means it's it's an instant pickup for me. Um, but yeah, they do look great, um, you know. And this is on top of all the cultists and things we're going to be getting as well later on. Um, riot shield, throwing a grenade, got the pin in the grenade there. Yeah, I'm really happy for them. I, I guess you can make a couple of uh, units of them and they'll look quite different. You've got um, Space Marines Phobo Strike Team. Yeah, I mean. Okay, it's Space Marines, but it is Phobos. Uh, it's just an upgrade um, sprue that you're going to get with the normal, um, you know, Infiltrator uh, kit. 
I guess there are a couple new extra poses and things that they've got for them. And then you get the, the new um, scenery. Glad I held out on that scenery because uh, you're getting it in this set, which is great. So for me, pretty much most of that stuff is, is brand new uh, for me to cover. Uh, Middle Earth, you've got the uh, look at the Bjornings. It's great that they're still um, supporting Middle Earth strategy game. Uh, you've got the uh, Grim Bjorn and the Bear. Bear looks lovely. And then you've got um, more Bjornings as well. For Necromunda, you've got the Ironhead Squat Prospects. I'm still on the fence with them. I really am. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, they just, for me, they just don't seem 40k. That's that's what I'm feeling. They seem like they're in another another game system, but that's because I'm so not used to them at all. Um, but yeah, I maybe you can use them in the 40k as well, possibly. Uh, and then you've got Warcry, um, so it's going to be a new uh, warband here. They look quite funky. I like the helmets. What is going to workshop and putting them, um, you know, horn beasts on the top of helmets? But this creature looks interesting. The Centurion Marshal. Uh, loads of weapons and things on him. It. And that's been it so far um, with the, the old Warhammer Fest online. Uh, so, you know, we haven't got much longer to go before uh, the Horus Heresy. I think I'll do a separate video focusing on uh, the models and things um, in the Horus Heresy uh, reveal. Uh, so I'll, I'll look at that in another video. Um, but uh, what we'll do now is we'll go on over to Forge World and have a look at the pre-orders for today, of which there are, I don't think there are any. Um, I think if we go to pre-orders, I think only yesterday it was just these Orlok Ash Wastes upgrades. I think this was yesterday's uh, pre-order or they've brought them back or something. Um, but uh, yeah, it doesn't say you pre-order, you can just add them to cart and I guess I'll just ship them straight away. So other than the Orlock Ash Waste upgrades, that was it for Forge World. Let's uh, jump on over to Games Workshop and have a look to see if that Chaos Knight set is still in stock. And here we are on Games Workshop's web store. So straight away they've uh, changed the banner, they've got a load of Chaos Knights here. Uh, this is the, the new one and when I say the new one, We've got a few new parts to it. Um, so you've got the uh, Imperial Knights Codex with that lovely front cover. And then we've got some, you know, our top picks, uh, I guess. Uh, what else? We've got a little bit about the Nomad squads and the sci-fi combats and a little advert for Warhammer Plus, your last chance to buy. So if we click on new and exclusive and we go to pre-orders, Right here, we view all, we go high to low as usual, and there you go. So we've got the pre-orders. Um, this uh, Ash Waste was actually up for pre-order last weekend, um, but this is the new pre-order for today, Chaos Knight's army set, £160. A normal Chaos Knight is about £100, so for £60 you're getting uh, the two brand new uh, War Dogs, which can be made in three different ways. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about them in a moment. You're also getting the, the new Chaos Knights Codex, uh, which, you know, I have to say the Codex that came before um, came out three years ago. Well, almost three years ago. It came out in 2019, uh, July. I remember that well. Um, you're also getting the cards and some transfers as well. No dice, though. Mm, uh, would have been nice to get some dice. But these are the new sort of war dogs. They look fantastic. Uh, big, big fan of these. Um, they've really changed them up, they've really chaosified them. They look way better than if you were just going to buy the uh, normal armagers and halverins and uh, uh, sort of chaosified them because uh, they've got specific parts and specific weapons. Um, yeah, you've even, they're still going about with this crow thing. I don't know what that's about. I think it's a spillover from the Oryx. Uh, and then this is the, the big daddy, the, the Psyker uh, Knight as well. Of course, this is the Desecrator set, so you can build the, the Desecrator and the Rampager instead of this one. 
don't know why because this is the main reason why you get this set i love the tail though um and you've got the big volkite cannon uh and the electro surge uh flail as well um yeah it looks great um first time we've had some kind of like psychic night as well uh, this is the codex which is over 100 pages i'm pleased to announce um, so that's going to be great. It's not 100, under 100 pages. So that is a, a considerable uh, size increase from the previous one, which had 72 pages. So you're going to get an extra 40 pages in this, uh, which is, yeah, brilliant. This is probably one of the best times to um, get into Chaos Knights. Um, so, yeah, these are the War Dogs, Carnivores, Brigands, or Stalkers. And then you can build the Abominant, which is the new Chaos Knight, or you can build the the other two, the Desecrator uh, or Rampager. Um, and I think the new uh, Chaos Knight uh, box set will have all three of them in there. So it's a little bit of a copy and paste of what they did with Imperial Knights, um, with these having multiple options in, in one box set. Uh, so yeah, no doubt they'll be uh, out for release. I'd say a month or so, going by their past ex you know, uh, behaviors. Uh, then you've got the Knight, Valiant, Castellan and Tyrant. They're all the same box set. Um, they've bundled all three into one uh, now for your £105. Still think it's a fantastic price. Um, it's a big night, one of the biggest um, plastic miniatures uh, that they do for uh, Warhammer 40,000. It's like a mini Warlord Titan in a way because it's got carapace weapons, it's got big uh, arm weapons, and it's got point defense weapons. Um, so if you're not quite there yet in... Uh, able to spend like £1,200 or so on a, on a big resin Warlord Titan. Um, this is, yeah, this is kind of like a mini one, really. It's still going to tower over a lot of uh, models uh, on 40k. Um, but yeah, 172 components. Um, you've got the 170mm uh, oval base. Uh, uh, you can build the Valiant in there and the Knight Tyrant um, as well for, for Chaos. So one box set now uh, for the... I say for the three, it was really only two different ones, but now you've got no excuse um, to just buy one. Um, magnetizing, yeah, you could possibly try and magnetize those big uh, heavy weapons. Um, you've got Warzone, Nakmon, Rift, Rift War, uh, Collector's Edition. Really, yeah, £55 for this one. Um, it's a fair amount of money. Uh, only 88 pages so less than 100 um it's more of an expansion uh just have a look at the rules um i can't really see if you've got any uh data sheets there um but you've got crusade rules weapons so yeah that's the new um so yeah that's the new uh campaign book the collector's edition i'm not sure why they're doing collector's editions for everything now but there we are you've got the imperial knights collector's edition um codex here uh, for ninth edition uh, i have pre-ordered this so you'll get to see it uh, next week um it's got uh, these page edges because i would have preferred uh there to be a, a color um to them rather than just the reflected print on the inside cover of the the book uh, which everyone knows i'm not a massive fan of um they did this with adeptus mechanicus uh, special edition and with necrons um and with the eldar uh, codex too so it would have been nice to have it i don't know gold like they do for the age of sigma or um silver or, or something other than just a uh be you know copy copy of the print uh, you get the page keeper which is extremely useful for um you know when you are having games keeping that page open on specific uh data sheets and things uh, then you've got the helverins and warglaze these were 45 pounds before so in a way the games workshop are charging you an extra seven pound fifty um for for the uh luxury i guess of having two different types of armatures in one box set um I I think this is a poor move. Um, I think I would have preferred them to have two separate sets. I know it takes up you know more uh, room and things um, in their warehouses and things like that. But uh, at least you're using most of the parts in the set. If you're going to buy one of these now, you're going to have 
all of the parts left over from the the other um, uh, kit so just bear that in mind now and yeah 52 pound 50 is, is is getting pretty pricey for them you got Khan eater of Worlds special edition 40 pounds um, as I've mentioned early in the video it has been out already um, this is just a special edition version of it it's very nice and red as you'd expect um, but it's no longer available that sold out pretty quick on the website warzone nakmund rift war 32 pound 50 for the standard 32 pound 50 for the standard imperial knight codex uh, you've got these uh, ash waste units which were last week you've got the data cards for imperial knight 17 pounds now um, and then you've got uh, the pre-order for malice dark blade volume 2 um, that's up for pre-order and then the triumph of saint catherine and hardback uh, 12.99 by danny ware um, and then the final pre-order, which is Hell Winter Gate in paperback by Chris Rate. So there are all your pre-orders uh, this weekend. Uh, a fair amount there. You know, you've got the repackaging of the uh, the Big Knight Castellans. Um, you've got the Chaos Knights Army set, the Rift War, uh, the Imperial Knight Codex, um, the Warglaves repackaging, a number of books. Uh, the one thing that's obviously missing is the Chaos Knights, um, you know, Codex, uh, which you know could be a, another month or so before that uh, is released separately along with these along with the chaos knights uh, units um too so we might have to wait a little bit longer for that and that is all of the pre-orders uh for today uh for saturday the 7th of may uh what do you guys think did you skip picking up ash wastes for 180 pound only to pick up uh, the chaos knights army set today or have you skipped the chaos knights army set a double skip if you will uh, to then pick up all of this amazing Horus Heresy plastic uh, kits coming uh, next month. Um, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you, as always. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.